Hi everyone, today I will show you how I make these gold filled stacking rings. I hope you enjoy watching, make sure to comment and subscribe for more videos like this one. Alright, let's get started. To make these rings I'm going to use gold filled wires, one in 20 gauge and one in 18 gauge thickness. I am also going to use tube setting to set the aquamarine gemstone in one of the rings. Tube and gemstone are 4 mm. For soldering I will use this 9 carat yellow gold solder wire which I found works great. These materials shouldn't be hard to find, check with your local supplier. It's good to measure your fingers before making rings and check the sizes. I will be using these mandrels today. The step mandrel is a new addition to my tools and I found it very very helpful. So first I'm going to check the size of my middle finger. I will also double check that the size correctly translates to the sizes on the mandrel. Looks like it's all good. You can also use this small handy sizer. They both showed that I should be going for the size M or size 6 uh, US. Alright, let's get started with these simple and dainty stacking rings. Alright, I'm going to start by wrapping this wire around a size 6 on the step bezel. It's not very easy, it's actually quite tricky because this is a half hard wire and because it's gold filled you can't really anneal it. So I'm going to have to make it work. So I'm helping myself with this rawhide mallet here. So then I'm going to check the size and not to worry because when I press it on the mandrel I can still get the size quite well. So I'm just going to mark it with a sharpie here. And when it's marked, I'm going to cut it with these scissors. As you can see, it's still a little bit too big and there's a lot, a lot, a big gap in there, but that's not a problem. I am going to fix it in a second. Once I place it on the mandrel again and press it around it, you can see the size is correct. So I'm just going to file the edges to make sure that they are flush and they align properly for soldering and then I'm going to bend it gently to create the ring. Although I'm not worrying too much about the shape because I'm going to shape it a little bit later. For now I just want the edges to touch for soldering. So I'm creating this flux paste with borax cone and dish and I'm getting this solder for soldering. I'm applying some flax paste onto the ring and I'm going to pick the solder and apply it where I need to solder. And now pay attention that I'm not heating up the whole ring. That's because you don't need to heat it up the gold field. You only should heat it where you need to solder it. And as you can see I'm using this heat and run technique um, just to make sure I'm not overheating it. So there's that. I'm going to place it in the pickle as usual, quench and pickle and when you pickle make sure that you're using separate solution. You shouldn't mix your gold fill metal with silver for example. And that's it. I think they look pretty nice. I didn't show you the next stages because they will be included in further clips. And now let's start with open ring, which I think it's absolutely amazing. For this one I'm using thicker wire. This one is one millimeter, which is 18 gauge and I'm going to use a ring bending tool. It's just a little bit easier than bending uh, the wire by yourself on the mandrel. It's a bit faster. Yeah, overall just a bit easier. But as you can see, even though it's a ring bending tool, it is still a little bit too big uh, than the size I was going for. But again, not to worry, I'm just going to repeat the previous steps. I'm going to mark the proper size that I want and I'm going to cut it. And now I need to file the edges. And you know, you don't have to worry too much since it's an open ring. So you can adjust it as you go. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just cutting a little bit 
bit of wire because I want it to be slightly more open. And remember when you hammer it, it's going to close a little bit more. So keep that in mind. And as you can see, I'm just using a regular hammer to hammer the edges. I'm just changing the ring on the mandrel, flipping the sides so it's nice and even. And yeah, I'm just trying to flatten the edges and make them nice and round. So when you're hammering, just make sure that you're not hammering in one place. And then you can just grab your buffing stick and round the edges and make them really nice and even. So after that, I'm going to again use sanding and buffing sticks to clean the ring. It looks pretty good right now. So only a few steps left. I'm going to sand it on top of it. Although you could leave it just like that if you want to achieve hammered effect, but I actually wanted to polish it. So I'm going through buffing sticks this one is very fine and then I'm just going to use this nail polisher which is great for metal so <laughs> it will be nice and shiny and there we have it obviously I'm going to wash it you could also pop it into your tumbler if you want it and now let's move on to the best one I guess the one with the aquamarine so for this one I'm just going to wrap this wire around the mandrel so third option of how you could you know create this ring again it's a little bit annoying because it is a hard wire <laughs> it's hard to work with but we're gonna make it work that's okay um, one important thing is I'm going to solder the wire on the sides of the bezel so I am going to have to keep that in mind and take it into account that I'm going to probably subtract some of the wire here, uh, four millimeters, uh, something like that, to still keep the size correctly, but have the tube fit in there. So I'm going to cut it and I'm going to keep in mind that I need some space there. So I'm going to check the size cut a little bit more if I need to and I'm going to shape it on the mandrel because it's just going to be easier to fit it later. That looks really great. So I'm going to file the edges so they would align with the tube well. There shouldn't be any spaces in there and also as you can see it's not very flat so I'm just going to flatten the ring a little bit on the steel block with the rawhide mallet so I'm not leaving any marks on it and fitting again looks perfect. Okay, so flux again, then I'm going to just fit it. Sometimes it takes a little while. <laughs> it can be tricky. If you know of a better way to do it, let me know in the comments. This is how I do it. It works for me. But yeah, I'm just trying to fit it and then apply a little bit more of flux and then just attaching the solder, applying the solder. <laughs> and again, quickly hitting up where I need this to be hot and trying not to overheat it. It is gold filled, so there is copper inside which will oxidize and you don't want it to be ruined later on. So try not to overheat it. There we go. Um, I will need to fix that side a little bit because the solar didn't throw ideally, but yeah, that's not an issue. You just apply the flux again, heat it again, and yeah, that's done. So now I'm going to clean the dainty band, the, the first project that we did. And for that, I'm using this Eve silicone polisher. This one's black, medium. And I chose this one because I didn't need anything coarse, but I also wanted to remove some of the marks. And for the ring that with the bezel, I'm starting with this yellow attachment, which is coarse. Then I'm moving on to the white one, and they both handled any scratches perfectly and any uneven spaces. Then I'm pre-polishing with this blue attachment and I will finish it off a bit later, but first I'm going to set the stone. So for that I'm using this little set of bezel pusher and I'm probably going to go for four and a half millimeters or maybe even five. We'll see how that goes. Should work 
but yeah, we'll see. And I'm using here this ball vise, but in a second I'll show you what else you could do if you don't have anything like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm just pushing around to uh, set the stone evenly, trying to be very careful not to damage the stone and also not to leave any unnecessary scratches around on the ring band because there's more cleaning <laughs> later on. So that's hopefully going to work. And that's what you can use if you don't have a ball vise, ring clamp and bezel pusher. Now I'm going to clean the edge around the gemstone after setting. So I'm going to start with this Eve Pumice stage 2, which is medium, and then I'm going to move on to stage 3, which is fine, and it's going to pre-polish it actually as well. But after I finish with that, I'm going to use bristle wheels in pink and green to polish it and just finish it off. And it's done. I really love how it looks like. It's so shiny and so pretty. And yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I hope you like this these rings and let me know in the comments if you have any feedback suggestions or questions i will be happy to answer and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one and i hope you stay well stay safe and i will see you in the next one bye